below job designs in the repository we have another concept which is known as context and basically there are two types of context in talent one is the context variables which are local so inside for this particular integration job we have these set of local context variables and there is uh, a concept context groups which we can centrally create them in the, in the repository and we can use them we can reuse them as often as we want inside our integration job and basically these context group variables they are also a good way to to manage uh, multiple environments for a particular program for example uh, we have the typical development testing and production environment for any enterprise so and the difference between every environment is that we have a different set of uh, source data uh, locations and we have uh, different databases so uh, like they're physically different the addresses are different so let's may maybe let's create a new context group just to show you how this process can be carried out for example let me give it a name test group and then next and yep basically at this point so by default there is only one environment and you can create as many environments as you want for example uh, select this plus button and create here let's suppose this is one you can call as a dev environment and click ok so now you can create multiple variables and every variable can be assigned to a value and one value will be of the default environment and one value will be for the production environment for the development environment so when you select development environment then automatically the values will, will be picked up from this column and when it's default the values will, will be picked up from this one so context group variables are created centrally here in the repository and they are even uh, defined here in the repository but later on they are used inside integration jobs and there we have the option to select what environment we want to refer to so the next video will talk about how to handle different environments in talent using context groups for this video i just wanted to show you that you can when you create different variables and then let's finish it and let's uh, okay let's create a new integration job and we call it let's suppose let's suppose create here integration job and context groups so in this integration job now you want to reuse those uh, global context variables the global context groups so what you need to do is come here to the context option and here you have uh, an icon that you click and you can set that you want to have the test group variables imported inside this one and then you select all so it means all variables should be pulled from from the global repository so now we can see that since I didn't define any value for these variables in the global text group context group so I cannot see any value here otherwise I would have seen the values here and since this group is coming from the repository so you can see this uh, this indication here but if you create your own local variables then there are different case but from inside of integration jobs they all can be accessed using context dot and then the name of the variable simply and when you execute your integration job so here you have the option to select if you want to get the values from the dev environment or you want to get the values from the default environment and then automatically you execute and then yeah the process goes on so the next in the, in the next video we're going to see in detail how different environments can be can be handled with practical examples